Week 2 of Reefscape showed us how this game can be played. In this tube-heavy game, we saw the elevated role of algae into the barge. We also saw for the first time in FRC history, teams with 5-digit numbers winning regionals. Yay! 11 regionals from this week, so let's get into them. Starting off with the Istanbul Regional, we had the one seed made up of Mumbai teams Elevate and Paradox beating the three seed of Eagles and Shanghai team Carbon Pulse. That one seed duo had very speedy bots, while Technica Robotics and their kit bot played Shutdown D at the Blue Coral Station. Did not help the three seed that Carbon Pulse disconnected with the minute left, which left the Eagles with a mismatch of all mismatches. They then joined the Archers on defense, which left no scoring happening and caused a six point penalty every three seconds. I don't know that decision either. Elevate elevated for the deep climb, with Paradox joining them in the lopsided 179 to 78 win. At the same time, we had the Bosphorus Regional, where the one-seeded Istanbul Wildcats and Goldenhorn took down AG Robotic and two-seed captain from Guangzhou, the Cyber Rabbits. Wildcats and Goldenhorns got three pieces apiece, making it 51 to 23 in the first 15 seconds. Sheesh, I knew Otto was gonna make or break this game, but dang! The Cyber Rabbits used their Ferris wheel arm to get Algae out of the way, while Golden Horde used their Elevator Claw to score that Algae. Polish team 10598, still gotta get used to saying five digits, TA Droid from Warsaw played defense until they decided to go for the early climb. The 2 seed just could not keep up with the Wildcats, that arm just might be the fastest in the world. All that tube gave the one seed the huge win. Coming back stateside, we got the Hudson Valley Regional with Stipulse and Robo Tigers beating the Kingsmen and Pobots. We don't have any Finals 2 footage, but we do have Finals 1, and that's still more than what Wainimi, Port, or Pinnacles can say. All three red bots scored tube with Robo Tigers getting some algae in. They done filled up that reef as Kingsmen and Pobots tried to keep up, but bad bounces slowed their scoring down. Red made light work of the reef and Stipulse went for the donut climb. I finally get to talk about a donut climb. Look, it's so beautiful. They were the only ones to get a climb in the first finals match for the 23 point win. Finals 2 was uh, not as close, with Stipulse getting more coral and Robo Tigers getting more algae. The 1 seed won against the 2 seed at the Festival de Robotique in Montreal which gives 3390 Tech for Kids their 15th win at this particular regional. 5618 Pulls. I know it's PLS, but Pulls. Pulls, Mom. Bottomed out on Algae at the start of Teleop while defending, leaving Tech for Kids and Alliance Captain 3015 Ranger Robotics to cycle unimpeded. Side note. Just guess what 3015 named their robot. Just guess. I guarantee you did not think of it unless you knew it already or you paused my video to look it up. In which case you know that it's Organi Prongingi. Ranger, come here. Come here. Never change that name. Perfect name. Perfect. Expresso and Phoenix tried to keep up, but it got out of hand quickly. Spartiates joined their alliance partners to nail the triple deep climb. Expresso was the only blue bot to get up, and the one seed came away with the event high score. Organi Prongingi! Just needed to say it again. 
Now, the Arkansas Regional in, you'll never guess where, Arkansas. Definitely the most hyped event of the week. One of the highest scoring regionals of the week with some of the highest scoring teams there. Everyone had eyes on this one. Even I had eyes on this one. Shout out to the MCs who kept this very entertaining. It was very fun to watch in between the match breaks. 2481, the Robo Tears, and 118, the Robo Knots, took down the two seated Denim Venom, who won Magnolia last year, and the Highlanders, who just can't catch a damn break. The Highlanders were finalists at the Colorado Regional last year, and famously four time finalists in 2022. The Roboteers had the cool three-piece and auto, and went to work with their drink vending machine bot. Did not even notice this at first. It got me up out of my seat when I noticed this design. You don't have to worry about adjusting from the base to get into position. You get into position with the claw. 118 soloed the algae while Highlanders and Venom did the same, which left an early disparity at the reef. Venom got a last piece of algae, but that dude done buried him. Both sides got the double deep climb, but the one seed got the 28 point win. Argos and reigning world champion Team Scream took down the three seed of CTC, Inspire, and Team Neutrino at the Central Missouri Regional. Though, it did look like we would need a tiebreaker after the one seed's autos didn't quite get the timing down. Argos worked on the tube as Scream worked on algae and almost ended up with the case of Tallbot Syndrome. The three seed was strictly tube, but all that algae left on the reef meant that they couldn't score any tube there. CTC and Spire got the deep climb for blue, Argos got the buzzer beating climb for red, and Little Apple Cyborgs hit the victory spins for the 35 point dub. Going down to the land down under, the Barker Redbacks and IC Robotics took down Koalified and Iona Fusion. This event was apparently filmed from the bleachers the next stadium over. Seriously, I can't see a thing. Overlooking and Emu Robotics played amazing defense for their respective sides as all the others scored. Barker and Icy were just too quick and the two seed couldn't keep up. The field was just a mess of algae with no one wanting to deal with that and instead they just focused all on the reef. Barker and Icy got the double deep climb as Iona Fusion played defense on overlooking by pushing them toward their own barge zone. Bold strategy but it doesn't pay off as endgame penalties added on to Red's total in their huge win. We got a three seed versus the six seed in the new Taipei Regional Finals because who says the one seed has to have all the fun? If Blair's there, the hype's there. This matchup was all tube, but Blue's high placements and red drops tilted things oh so slightly Blue's way. Overlooking two, Remember, just talked about overlooking one at the Southern Cross Regional. Bottomed out on Algae, and Idea needed to take time to free them. The Silver Hawks nearly lost it following a hard collision from the reef, but they stayed upright. Red made light work of the mismatch, especially with Ares defending. No climbs in Endgame, and 97-15 this time, bottomed out on their way to the barge. They still somehow got points for parking, so maybe we're going off of McQueen tongue rules. Blue still made it close despite all the misfortune, but the three seed came out on top.
Going to the Ventura County Regional, we got 44-14 High Tide, who won Wainimi Port, and Team Rembrandt's, who almost won Pinnacles. Boy, it would be really fun if I could talk about those. So they both win their second regional in two weeks, which means regional pool points time. No idea how those work. Like I've read the whole document. I, st I don't do numbers. That's why I'm a YouTuber. Math isn't my friend. They went up against the seven seed of Spartan Robotics and Quantum Leap. This one seed was one of the, if not the, the highest scoring alliances of the weekend. Mostly due to the fact that they didn't play any defense. Rembrandt's and High Tide worked in tandem to take care of Tall Tube and Algae at the Reef, and Assembly Required handled Mid Tube. Falcon Robotics played defense, but there's no defending this. High Tide has a very nice elevator with an extending arm to give it the reach it needs, as well as to yeet some of that algae onto the barge. They fumbled the cage in this match, so each side ended with the double deep, but the one seed still got that 49 point win. Ending this weekend where it began, in Turkey, eh? The one seed took down the three seed at the Hallis Regional, with the one seed coming up from the lower bracket. Elevate and Carbon Pulse defeated Archers and X Shark. If those names sound familiar, Elevate beat Carbon Pulse and the Archers at the Istanbul Regional. This means the Archers went to two regional finals in two days and lost both of them. Moonstar and X Shark had their top tubes find their mark in auto, though Teleop was a different story. The one C took advantage of those drops and pulled away with it. Carbon Pulse was the only bot to climb, and the one C got their get back by 28. A thrilling end to the last event of the weekend, the Marmara Regional, with the Paradox and Golden Horn against the Istanbul Wildcats and AG Robotic. All four of these robots were in the finals at the other two Turkish regionals at the start of this video. The two seed got the win in match one after Golden Horn had Tallbot Syndrome scoring algae. Harpia Robotics subbed in for Itobot after Itobot done got a concussion defending Blue in Finals 1. Tube abounded in this game, but that algae made a world of difference. The one seed got outscored at the reef and the cages, but them barge balls forced the tiebreaker. In that tiebreaker was more of the same. The one seed was crushing them at the reef and at the barge. This one was tube heavier uh, than in finals two. And ducks and golden horn were just too quick. They nearly filled up that reef. No bots got a cage climb in this match. Although golden horn did hit the fastest victory spins I've ever seen. The one seed got the comeback in a very, very exciting match. Organi Prongingi. Just needed to say it again. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the bits. There's also going to be the PNW District Recap coming out later. I will see you then. And remember, gracious in victory, professional in defeat. Amen. Qualification match number 45, already the terabytes, they're lining on up. They've shown they have a prodigious autonomous that can go for a multi-piece of coral. They're lining it on up, already one scored. Here comes the second.